Hey folks, uh, Tim here. I'm trying to nurse my uh, Toyota Sienna here to 300,000 miles. On a recent ski trip, uh, I had uh, a symptom where the uh, washer pump for the wiper blades, uh, the, that wiper washer fluid, um, the pump wasn't pumping uh, fluid on the front or the back of my 1999 Toyota Sienna. And uh, the, wash, the wipers worked, um, but the pumps didn't. And uh, it turns out, doing some research, apparently that's on the same circuit breaker, so uh, or the same fuse, so with the, what I suspected was that the pumps, something was wrong, was wrong with the pumps. And with both the front and the back out at the same time, that was a little suspect to actually having frozen pumps. So here's how I fixed it, and it was a really a, a pretty simple solution before you go to a dealer um, and have them uh, go through all, all kinds of expense. Try to, try to troubleshoot with this uh, issue first. Uh, so here's the, the washer fluid. It was full and it was showing liquid at the top. But in fact, with the cold weather we had here in North Carolina um, and probably some suspect washer fluid, uh, it ended up uh, freezing the pumps. So right here, um, you've got two fasteners on the, uh, on the, the wheel well cover. Okay, here's the, here's the fender. Um, two fasteners that you can uh, undo and get at the pump housing in there and I'll take a picture of that to see a little better um, so undo these two house these two screws to get at the pump if you need to replace the pumps well that's a little more of an in-depth in job but it got just it'll get you started and then you'll at least be able to troubleshoot um, so I put a hair dryer in there and uh, warmed up the pumps and then the fluid flows fl uh, flowed uh, freely and uh, I'll put in better washer fluid uh, the next time around um, so uh, I'll show you it in just a second with the uh, screws off. This is uh, just a Phillips head screw. This could also be a Phillips head screw. In fact, why don't I just do it right now? Just undo this one. Okay, and you can almost get a hair dryer in right now with just that one. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's the, uh, oh yeah, actually camera adjusted for the light pretty well. Um, so there's your uh, front, I don't know which one's which, front or the back, um, but there's your two pumps, and uh, those were in fact frozen, so just that one fastener then will probably get you enough room to get a hair dryer in there, get some warmth, or maybe a heat lamp or something, but uh, always be tending the heat source so uh, nothing bad happens. Um, but anyway, just uh, thawed it off, and then they worked fine. Um, if you need to undo this one right down here, here's another screw. And if you need to replace them, obviously you're going to need a little more room. Uh, the front bumper uh, can bend back a little bit with a screw underneath here. Uh, the rest of the uh, wheel well uh, cover, there's a, uh, a quick fastener right here. Uh, a bunch of other fasteners here. And there's that other one here. And then there's two more down here. Another one here, here. A fastener here, which is a... Uh, Bolts, it's a bolt actually that's a different screw so make sure you keep track of it and we keep track of which screws go and where because they do actually there's a few differences uh, right here is that last one this one has a rubber gasket that the uh, uh, the cover stays attached to um, I don't know if you need to pull the if you need to more a lot of room you can pull that cover off but it's, it's kind of a bear getting it back off that there's a little rubber gasket and you'll see what I'm talking about if you ever try it Anyway, so that's that's it. It was a pretty easy fix. Save you some time. It's not probably not a broken uh, pump. Just get some get a hair dryer, or heat source in there, unfreeze the pumps. If you can't wait, obviously, put it out in the sun and wait for a warm day is another option. So, all right, and uh, take care.